Using our friendly UK customer service team, just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited. So order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, 
Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Welcome back to Sewing Street. So I've got Ian here with me, if you want to hear it. Is Ian's birthday. Hello, yes. Happy oh, birthday. And we've just been discussing cake, cake. that you How was brought the cake? Oh, it was fantastic. Was it? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much, Freddie. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to have to try a bit later. I want to see what it's like. Yeah, definitely. Get up there quick, because mm, it be, it's all. going down Yeah, but quick. not everyone likes coffee cake. I don't understand that, though. It, 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 it was, it's divided the office upstairs. I don't know why, because everyone loves coffee. And yeah. coffee and cake, it just And goes, everyone loves cake. Yes, certainly I don't here. understand that. Yeah. Yes, people walk past and go, oh, that's amazing. What is it? Coffee. Oh, uh, yeah, well, oh great. More for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. And it's not easy finding a recipe either because like, everyone does loads and loads of different chocolate cakes. But mm, they do. is your coffee your favourite? There we go. Oh, yeah, I what's your favourite cake? cake. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you. Very nice. That's fine. That's fine. Had to celebrate it. So, Ian's deals. So, yeah, this morning we deals. had a couple of uh, special deals on. Um, we've brought some uh, the HEPA air purifiers back. Uh, which I know has been popular before. We have the mini one, which sold out last time. Mm. And then this one, which is a brand new one. And this is uh, obviously a much bigger size. So it's I've, I've got a bit more detail. Because okay. we, we were quite pushed for time, we weren't were, we, at we 8 o'clock? didn't have enough time. So I've so just we... got a bit more detail. So it says this is suitable for a room size of 17 metres squared, which is quite oh, a big size. Oh, that's a big room. Yeah, so, so your you big know, living room or a big bedroom. Absolutely. So, yeah, your work room, your bedroom, your living room. Right. This, and, this, and it filters, and here we go, I've got some... Um, it some removes 99.9% .9 of airborne bacteria and wow. allergens. So pretty much everything in your room is going to purify. That's amazing. So if you do have allergies or if you're sneezing a lot or if yeah. you're in a dusty environment, this yes. is absolutely perfect, it isn't is. it? It is. It's a, it's a incredible. And as I say, it's um, as if your work room or if you've got pets, or allergies mm. or you know you, you suffer from hay fever, uh, absolutely, anything that's uh, so in the I air. So I presume it sucks the air in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's got this. Uh, so it says a 360 filtration mm. unit. So it, it filters all the air. And it, as you can see at the top there, we've just got it on with the one setting. You've got three settings. You've got a a timer, so you can uh, you can set it on the timer uh, to switch off if you were uh, went to bed mm. and put it on at night. So for switch it would go off after yeah. four hours. Um, so you've got two hour, four hour, eight hour, and twelve hours. So you can just Click the switch yeah. and leave it going uh, overnight. Uh, and so yeah, so it, it's um, it's got a removable filter, so you can take the filter out to clean it all and replace it. Um, and they say they recommend to clean or replace the filter after eight, eighteen months oh, to keep okay. the. Okay, yeah. so not too often. So then, that would is last. It? So yeah, last. So you have time. this in your room, and that's going to keep the air nice and pure and clear and dust free. Yeah, absolutely. Much better it's, for you. It's, Rely aids in healthy breathing, also features an easy to read display with fan speed selection. As I mentioned, you've got three fan speeds there. And it's, I say, you just pop it, pop it in your room. Wow. And it was, yeah, yeah you don't have to do anything fancy. Yeah, I just clicked it on and there, and there you go. And I so this is a, a good size if, you, if you're wanting to have something, as you say, in your living also room. Also, if you live room. in a polluted area. Uh, like near a main road yeah uh, yeah if you Perfect live near a main that. road absolutely yeah yeah that's very good that's excellent now we did a very special birthday price on this didn't we we so did the full price for this was 169.99 and then absolutely which which i think which i think um ben found on various sites <laughs> I had seen a certain website that I, I wanted to beat the price on because I thought it's a birthday deal, yeah. only to realise that that was a special prime day. Of, yeah. So, uh, but we've beaten it anyway. We're taking a hundred pounds off. We're going to sixty nine no, ninety nine. That's amazing. Sixty nine. You, I, I, I can't believe. I tell you what, I'm thinking. Anyway, you know, because we're all, all thinking Christmas presents. This is a good present. That's a very good call. It? That is a very good well, yeah, call. Because it's the sort yeah. of thing that everybody would want and will make quite a difference yeah. to your breathing and your atmosphere, but you're not necessarily always going to have yeah. what a brilliant present yeah absolutely yeah that's save 100 pounds as well or if you're looking for something a bit more portable we've yes. got the smaller one we do i I'll like, I like one this one as well because it although i mean it's portable it's a nice size though isn't it yeah. i like the way it spins as well it has and it's it also has I and mean, we haven't got this one plugged in but it also has a nice uh, but we can um oh yeah go on then let's go for it let's 
let's do it. It has a, a, a nice ambient light, which sort of keeps so it. So I'm yeah. thinking, you know, you could have this um, on your bedside table. Yeah, and this again, this is portable. So if you've got pets, you could pop it near the the bed that, that uh, your pet sleeps in, and it's just will sort of f purify the air. There we go. So pop that on. I don't know if you can see, but it has that it's has got, got a quite a nice sort it. of ambient light, which under this. Uh, our lights, you can't see so much. And that's going straight away. Oh, God, dim. Let's dim. Let's dim so we, we can like, see it. Like so it could dim. be like a little night light. So if you have there this you um, in a bedroom. There you go. So nice, yeah. Yes, and it's again, it's got a sleep mode. It's got, oh, yeah, it's um, got the timer. It's got a timer again. So if you wanted to set it for, for two, four, or eight hours okay. when you're uh, going to bed. And then you bed. can change the fan speed yep. as well. There you go, yeah. That can, and it's got three settings again. So again, it's just an, uh, and that can pop on your desk next to your sewing machine and your workroom yeah but that, that's the full price by the way i mean i think to be honest that 39.99 is a good price it's a great for this, price for that absolutely. but that's not an ian's deal it's not and it? it's not especially not an ian's birthday deal. not an ian's birthday deal no so how about 24.99 how about there that how about that another good present uh, that is definitely a good present price 25 yeah. pounds is How did Darth Vader know what you got for your birthday? <laughs> oh, he felt your presence was the punchline. Very good. Yes, I like that one. A Star Wars I was worried related about repeating birthday that joke. pun. Yeah, didn't know where he was going. Well, I, do, I never trust where Ben's going with his jokes. <laughs> yes. You yes. might not have always been able to repeat the answer. Yeah, quite often. <laughs> I'll leave you hanging there. And just going, oh, I don't know what the answer to that so is. So there you go. Two special deals. <laughs> Don't forget, these will go back up uh, at midnight because they're um, mm. special Ian's birthday deals. So, um, yeah, I know we've got a few in baskets, but you, yeah, definitely check out because we, we sold that out last time. for this one. I think yeah. that's great. Put that on your bedside table or in the Absolutely. corner of your room and particularly with the winter. Yeah, yeah. Keep it's your breathing, breathing exactly. nice and clear. 99.9%. .9%, so great if you've got allergies or pets or you live next to a main road. Of course, Or just yeah. you've got a dusty house. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean you totally. don't have to do any dusting? Unfortunately not. Oh. No, I think you still have to do dusting. Because I'm liking that idea. Yeah, no more great, dusting. Oh. Just buy one of those. Oh, the thought. Well, in theory, <laughs> if it sucks the dust in, yeah. I wonder whether it reduces how often you have to dust. <laughs> we, we, we just sort of go past. Or you just go <laughs> past the house like the that. The shelf. There it we go. Do, it? There you good, go. Good, but good yes, it, it will purify your air. Make Fantastic. Your, make your room more pleasant. Yes, well, do get checked yeah, out on that. Put in your basket. Loads and loads of you are coming in for it now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, I know um, if we do have any left, I know Hayley was after one of those. Oh, she's, she? Yeah, she's, uh, she likes the fact that it looks sort of like it apple like. Does. Yeah, yes. no, it does. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. It, it is really attractive, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, very nice. There you I are. think that's lovely. And have well, that in your sewing room. How often do you room? spend in your day in yeah. your sewing room? It, you, well, you most about of it, it, actually. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. 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 You're mm. going to get all those bits and pieces. Well, when yeah, you look at cutting fabric, you look at all the stuff you get in your sewing machine. You know how much mm. dust there is and fluff. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my sewing machine. I'm always having to clean the outside of it because it's covered in bits of fluff and dust. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know where it all comes from. Well, yeah, you, you'd be surprised, as you say, all the all the fabrics mm. that they. they and you think as well, like you know, because I have my laptop in there as well. That's always dusty. Yeah. So there we go. There that go. would remove it. Absolutely perfect. Anyway. It's not just about me today. <laughs> is it, it is. It's your birthday. <laughs> well, it's, it's your birthday. It's, it is, but we have we've got some amber makes. Yes, and let's not move over. Just some amber makes, some brand new. Brand new, brand new. This so, is going to be exciting. So last year, uh, last Christmas, we did the gift bag collection. Absolutely flew out and we sold out. So we brought yes, them back. We did. But we thought, let's not just bring them back. We'll bring back some new designs. Absolutely. So there are five okay. versions. So I'm going to go with the woodland one oh, first. Okay. So let's show you what you get first. You get four bags and then we'll show you the panel. So in the kit, um, you get all the pieces. You don't get the lining fabric because you can just use your own stash for that. It meant we could get more on the panel. $14.99. Right. You get the pieces to make the bottle bag. Very it, you, nice. It's wine, Prosecco, gin. Yes. Vodka, Perfect. Limoncello. Perfect. Anything Absolutely. you like. Yeah, um, you or get non alcoholic versions. Or non alcoholic, or yeah. just um, fizzy water. Um, you get the gift tote. Nice. That's which a lovely size. Huh? That's a really cute little. Yeah. So, this is all Perfect. about you know, your sustainable yeah. packaging. That means you could put um, four cans of lager. Yeah. <laughs> sure. 
In the old days, that would have been perfect for a, a DVD or a CD. It would have you been, know, wouldn't it? When you used it? to give those as gifts. Yeah. So that's got What's the fox CD, on it. They say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the vendors know what a CD. Yeah. Is. Then you've got a little drawstring bag. He's got the hedgehog on, so that that has a drawstring oh. and a little handle. So that'd be ideal for a pair of socks, little soaps, and yeah. hand creams. Yeah. And then you oh, get you actually, you know what? Oh, some nice um, Christmas like potpourri or something like that oh, you yeah, could put in there yeah, and, and then hang it up and it makes your room smell nice. And then the, the little one, this is the fold over bag, he's got the rabbit on. And the way this works is I designed this because I thought this would be quite good for you, like your little Christmas table presents. You open it up because it's quite big, pop your gift inside and then you fold it up, fold the loop over and button it uh. up. Also on the panel, you get four gift tags. So you have a matching gift tag for each one. So what you could do is write the recipient's name in a friction pen. Yes. And then they can reuse it by ironing it off. Nice. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Next year, we're not inviting yeah. them yeah, again. Right, right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Just right. iron it yeah. off. So every yeah. one of them comes with the little gift tag. But as you said, that's perfect for the, you know, on the table, Christmas yes. dinner table. Yeah, nice. So Very you good. get four bags on the panel. Let me show you the panel. You get, of course, the instructions. And they're quite you meaty. Detailed, yeah, you this because there's four several lines. pages in there, so that's absolutely great. Um, there and we go. It also comes with the full video tutorial, which is on the Amber Mates website. So when of we course. did them last year, we didn't have a video tutorial, but I've read, I've done it this year. So you've got one. Oh, oh I'm upside down. down. Oh, so yeah. you will need lining fabric. So because we wanted to keep the cost down and get as many bags as we can. If you, I, I'll tell you in a minute. But if you go onto the website, I have listed how much fabric. But just use some fabric from your stash. We have put some in because I use some quite nice spotty fabric. So fourteen ninety nine, four gift bags, four gift tags, and full instructions and the video tutorial. Amazing, brilliant value that is. Brilliant value. So cute, isn't that it? Is. I love the hedgehog, he's my favourite. And again, it's really, I like this sort of the fair isle yeah. sort of Christmas well, that's design. Kind of knitting, yes, isn't it? yeah, yeah. So, when we did this design as tote bags, this was the most popular. Bless I think you. it was the, wood, the woodland animals. So, wow, half of the go. stock of this one has now gone. So, if you want to get that one, and it did happen last time, then you need yes. to get checked out on that one now. And I, I've got, we, we tried no. to get more as well, didn't we, of these? Because we knew they had sold out yes. previously. So, we've tried to get as but many as we can. But it's a way of you, you know, if you go, well, I'll show you the other designs. If you want more, you can get different designs. It's a way of you being able to do all your Christmas packaging in fabric. Yeah. Right, now then so, we did it in 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, lovely, lovely. So now, I, do, I think this is my favourite one. So here's the bottle bag. This is three French hens. Three French hens, nice. I remember they, do all, they all come, there's his gift tag. So you get three French hens on the front and the back. I've used a grey spotty lining for this one. But you get all of the outer pieces, so it's only the lining. So there's three French hens. The, um, the gift tote is the 12 days of Christmas. Ah. So you get all, all the side pieces which feature the 12 days of Christmas as well, and the handle. So that's your little gift tote. Uh, the drawstring bag is the partridge. The partridge in a pear tree. There we go. There's the little drawstring one. And Very then the nice. fold over bag is yeah. the five gold rings. Five gold rings. Which would fit in there nicely. Yes, you could put five gold rings yeah. in there, couldn't you? Yeah. And that's so it says the 12 days of Christmas yes. on one side and five gold rings on the other. And obviously you get the gift tag as well. So should we show you the panel? Yeah. It's so much easier doing this with someone else. It is. There you <laughs> go. That's why. So there's the whole panel. So this is why I really wanted to keep the price affordable because this is for your gift, your gift wrapping, isn't it? Yeah. So 14 99 you get the whole panel with everything other than all the outer fabric that you will need. The other things you need, I mean, I will, I'll show you in a minute, are just wadding, wadding really, and a bit of ribbon. Nothing really But um, as I say, specific. you've really utilised the panel here. There's like oh, hardly yeah, any everything. space for anything yeah, else. And you've really got everything. And, and the yeah. only space there is, is like we've put some rings in there and a yeah. partridge. So, and it's nice to have the gift tags with it. It just makes, I always think. Um, Definitely. That's I always think that it means that you don't have to spend so much on the gift. If you put it in a nice bag, yeah, yeah, it looks look, no, uh, mm. it always looks very good. And Even as you say, and, and obviously you and Amy work very hard to make sure that every inch yes. of the panel is utilised <laughs> with fabric. Yeah, yeah, well, I think that's Amy. Yeah. She's very good at tessellation. She is. Right then, l the ones that we did last year. Let's start with the Christmas classics. Ah, oh, yes. So these again flew out last time, didn't they? They did. Yeah. So 
So this is all about the post, the sort of the, well, a classic Christmas. So on the bottle bag, you get the post box with the snow. And on the sides, you've got um, holly and robins with little handles. There we go. Um, then the gift toe is a wreath. But, and there that's got are. the kind of the tartan print down the sides of it. And that says yeah. Merry Christmas on it. So this is your classic yeah. Christmas. And there was this one you just kept a bit of play in. That's just in a, a bit of yeah. calico yeah. in that one. Okay, yeah, perfect. That's you can awesome. use anything from your stash, yeah. really. Then you've got the little um, gift bag that's got the Robin and the Merry Christmas on it. And then it's got that lovely classic Christmas print on the handle. And then the fold over bag. Where is that? Oh. I did have it earlier because I counted them all. You did. You counted them out. What have I done with it? Is it in? It's <laughs> inside one of the others. Oh, oh no, that's. No. I counted it'll, them all out as well. well it'll be, be here when, something when we start to move oh, yes. for the others. I will find it in a minute. Yeah. What have I done with it? Because I, I did. I laid them all out one by one, so it must be there somewhere. Top drops on the floor. Hmm. Right. So this is the panel. There is a fold over bag that goes with that one as well, which we will find in a minute. So there's the panel. So you've got all of this lovely print with the holly yeah. and the robins and you've got the post box and this lovely tartan. And the, Very um, traditional. the um, yes, fold over bag says the most wonderful time of the year. I like that. It is. These are great. Yeah. Gorgeous, aren't they? And I think if you're going to give somebody a bottle for Christmas, then give them a bottle bag. But it's quite nice when it's a printed one like yes, this. Yes, yeah, it's absolutely. As you said, it's special. It, it makes look. There's a bit more thought involved. Yes, and you don't. I honestly, I think then put the time into the packaging, and people will reuse them. They'll keep them. And then some of the gift tags like this one, because they've obviously they all have matching gift tags. That one says the most wonderful time of the year. So they're quite nice things to use. So mm. in. While we are on Christmas, when I got back upstairs and mm -hmm. checked my emails, um, the, we'd had an email from customer services. A customer had emailed in to say, are you doing an advent calendar this year? Yes. The answer is, yes, yes we, we are. are. And when are we doing it? Well, as soon as possible. The, it's gone, this, it's, you will, believe me, you mm. will want one of these. It's been a, a, it's the whole, it's an amalgamation. Mm -hmm. Amber Makes is involved. Oh, I am, yes, the, the, Amber Makes are involved. We've got a lot of people in involved. This is something totally different that we've done before, not like any of the no, others. It is, it is amazing. Absolutely. At the moment, gorgeous. it's with the one that we've got mm. is, is away at photo shoots. Oh, is it's it? It's being photographed beautifully. It is. And then as, as soon different. as we can bring it to you, we will. It's very soon. different to what we've done before. Yeah, Amber makes have worked very closely with it. Yes, yeah, it's um, gonna, it's a it's an amalgamation it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Of, uh, of a lot of people. You are. So beginning of November then. We're right? hoping. Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, beginning of November. But it's it's, um, it's like has to be like hand mm, put together. Yeah, it so, is very yes. very special. Yes. I, I I love it. I saw Which it. Which is what's taken last the time. Week. You did. Last week. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been working with the team on it, but I saw it last you week. You haven't seen it in its full glory. In its full glory, yeah. and it is amazing. So, yes, next yes, week. Yes, so we are doing one. So, yeah, don't forget. We'll keep you posted. Right, so let's do the Christmas gnomes one next. Oh, yes. The gnomes. Oh, these are so cute. So, this is the um, bottle bag. It's got a different gnome. It's got the girl gnome. It's got the girl gnome on one side and the boy gnome on the other. Then there's the gift bag, the gift tote. And again, you've got the different names on the sides. Nice. So you can buy a different panel for different people. Yeah. I remember last year, some people, a lot of people bought all three of them that we had, so they could use them for different people. Yeah, well, at 14 99 it's a brilliant price, right. yeah. There's the little drawstring bag and the fold over bag that you can really get a lot of things. And um, this one just has a bit of elastic in, and if you've got face masks left, that's absolutely perfect. Oh, uh, right, for the little elastic. Because I've got a yes, big stash of them, and yes. I've cut all the elastic off them. Yeah, and let's hope we never get idea. a virus again. That is a good you idea. You imagine going yes. in the cupboard the, going, the, oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, you just have to hold it now. <laughs> yeah. Somebody cut all the elastic off the face mask. Yeah. It's absolutely ideal for these. Yes. So there's the, the little fold over bag, and then obviously you get the four gift tags with that one. So should we show you the panel? Yes. Yeah. And at some point, that other. So this is this has got feels like a more of a sort of an icy theme. Yeah, this yes. is your icy the Scandinavian, Christmas, yes. Scandinavian yeah. gnomey feel. Yeah. I love that one. It's really pretty, isn't it? Very nice. There's so many pieces on this. There is again. Yeah. 
but we should we scrammed them all in so that so that we could keep the price down because i know you know you're making bags for christmas it's expensive time of the year so we tried to keep the price down with that one and then the final one is this one i love this one because it's all about the snow globes and a little bit more modern because we've tried to cover so we've done like woodland we've done 12 yeah. days we've done classic we've done scandy gnome and this is your more sort of pretty pretty christmas yeah absolutely so here's the um bottle bag so it's got like a, a snow globe with a gingerbread house inside the snow globe so you this is very cool. very teal and pink so you've got teal yeah. on the outside you've got pink down here full of gingerbread men ideal then yeah. you've got the um gift bag and again this is one of those I always like these you know those glass baubles you get on trees that have a little oh, display know, yes. in them yeah. it's like a snow globe glass bauble with the gingerbread house and the tree well if you've got like you know younger people you wanted to buy for yes. this would be ideal so to put cute. their gifts in wouldn't it and it's got um if, even if you bought because it's got the gingerbread men and the gingerbread house if you were buying a baking gift it'd be nice oh, for that, yeah wouldn't it? yes yeah i do but a few cookie cutters inside yeah, yes yeah um, the gift tote has got says Christmas wishes and it's got two little glass baubles. There we go. Very pretty, all little shades of teal. Perfect. And then the little fold over tote says Merry Christmas and it's got one little bauble on it. It opens up like this. And honestly, these are really easy to make. I'm going to show you in a minute. But if you are beginner, a beginner sewer and you'd like to make some Christmas gift bags, they are easy peasy. I've done tutorials. You don't really need them, to be honest. But I have done them because if you're a beginner, that will make it easier. But honestly, they're easy I to make. I guess with that one, if you didn't want to put a button, you could just put a bit of Velcro or something. Yeah, you, you could. You? Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah. You don't need to at all. You could just yeah. put a bit of a bit of velcro or like a press fastener yes yeah there we go yeah, easy snap. peasy so that's all of the um the christmas gift bags now there are other bits and pieces you need with them so you will need some lining fabric which you can use from your own stash but we have put together some bundles for you because i've used a lot of spot i love a spotty fabric and i put the poplin together because poplin is really good value for money it is and it's versatile it's wider it's, yeah yeah it than is of the fabric which yeah. is fab um, so these are the half metres of fabric. So I've put the green poplin in and the blue poplin in. Oh, nice. Yeah. And again, they'd fit with, you know, across the board, actually, wouldn't they? Well, the they? blue poplin, yes. I think You've I used, used in, in that, that one. But yeah, it could cer you could certainly use it in that one as well. 3.99 for half a metre and it's extra wide, so you don't need as much. So if you had half a metre, would that cover yeah, well, all of, would that use all of the... Well, I would like to think I'd remember the answer to that question. <laughs> um, yeah you, well you need a meter so you need 75 by 112 centimeters okay. so you do need you'll need three quarters of a meter um, okay. to make all of to them. make all, everything yes so if but you, if you just do you what, had half a meter you could use most yes. of it and then the bit you know, the could, bits for your yeah. stash or, or just buy, buy two of these yeah and and that would be enough but you yeah. only need three quarters of a meter for the that's all of them in total wow so shall i Brilliant. show you how to make them yeah i want to <laughs> i want to make you want to make one of these yeah right right let me move this out of the way uh the most popular is the woodland animals well it's very cute it's very cute yeah over the half it? of the stock of that one yeah. is gone which i'm not surprised because it's lovely isn't it so i'm going to show you how to because i want to show you how easy these are so i've cut out some bits in advance right which one shall i show you first so I, i'm going to show you the fold over tote actually because I think it's really cute. On my overhead. Right, I'm just going to get my notes out so I remember what I'm actually talking about. So, you've, had your, you've got your panel. Yes. You've cut everything out. You've cut it all out yes. and you've labelled it as well. Okie dokie. these bits out. And you, you cut to the exact size. You don't need, do you need any no seam allowances? No seam allowances okay. at all. But you okay. must remember to cut the labels out because there are so many pieces on there. So you can see for this one. Yes. Let me just put my bits to one side. I've put... I've pinned the label on because for some of the bags there's you know five or six different pieces and in order to get everything to tessellate they're not all necessarily sitting next to each other okay so do cut out right when you um you'll see in the instructions it tells you so for the fold over tote it looks a really odd shape doesn't it but it's all all joined together already this is what it will look like on the panel you'll need a piece of lining fabric exactly the same size so all you do is pin that onto your lining fabric cut round it 
and then that's it. Okay. So you use that as a pattern piece. Okay. So I know what people do is they will often with these, they will keep that pattern piece. Yeah. And then they can make more bags. Got you. I know. But, and, then, and I should say, don't do that. Don't. Buy another kit. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, absolutely. But I think I probably would. I'm going to just press that because it's got a bit creased in transit. Um, but it does mean that you then got a pattern so piece in, yeah. if you wanted to make yeah. another one. Obviously, you won't have this beautiful print on it. Uh, but, exactly. But, you know. So once you've um, cut it out and you've cut the lining fabric out, I'm going to sew this bit of elastic on. So you can see now that's my, and that is um, mask elastics. It's perfect. Yeah, that's a really good idea. <laughs> that's a really, because we've all got them where they're just know, stuffed exactly. in drawers. Yeah. I'll leave that just a minute. <laughs> um, Levi's tidying up for me, so kind. He knows how messy I am. Is in the way. Um, so I think actually you can get two pieces out of each ear as well. Okay. For what you need, yeah. so it's ideal. So and it and it stretches nicely and doesn't fray. It's really good. So we're going to pin that to the centre of the bottom. So if you look at your bag, you can see right. Well, that's the top. That's yeah. the bottom. Yeah. The bottom one. We're going to put it to the centre. And the easiest way to do that is just fold it in half. Make a little mark with your finger. Fold the elastic in half. But what you want to do is have a bit of the elastic that sticks out beyond because when you sew this, if you sew it right to the edge, that elastic can pull through and then it will come off. So have it extending about half an inch beyond the edge and just pin it into place. And then I'm going to sew it. I'm going to just work a tacking stitch across here because this will be sewn in properly when I come to do the seam. So just tack it. That didn't sound big. That first bit <laughs> went. <laughs> no, the needle's broken. <laughs> the needle has broken. Oh, no. What is going on? Where have I put the... Um, what do you need? Um, I, need the, I need the box. How is the oh, needle yes. just broken? There we go. That's uh, a new one. Live on air. <laughs> 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 Break the needle. Well, when I did the um, earlier demo, yeah. I didn't even have a bob in him. Ah. Oh. And um, so it didn't work, and now I've broken the needle. But you know, this happens, doesn't it? Does. It, it, hap it happens um, to know, everyone. If you're in your workroom, <laughs> you, you, you think, oh, my needle's burst. My needle's broken, so I'm yeah. just going to pop a new one in, which is nice and quick, luckily. You're very good at. Uh, <laughs> you've done that many I've times before. I've done that before. quite a lot, as you yeah. can see. Absolutely. Do you remember when you do it to tighten it up? Sometimes you think you only need to tighten up the foot, but you do need to tighten up the needle screw as well because they do become, they do get quite loose. I don't know why that's broken. Strange, isn't it? I had put it on the floor though. Shouldn't really keep your machine on the floor, but I was just trying to keep it out of the way so I wasn't in the way of Adam. Uh, yeah, don't kill it for. Anyway, yeah, tack that, that into better, place. Yeah. Obviously, it's now come unthreaded again. Oh, the machine is against me today, isn't it? It is. Mm. Mach machine. What do they say? Never work with animals or sewing or machines. machines yes. Live on air. The good thing is about using this machine is because I have the same machine at home. I know how it works really well. <laughs> so, you know, when you've got a, an unusual machine, you for it's hard to remember all the threading up. Exactly, because they're all. Well, they're all a bit different. Um, a bit when different. you put this well piece of elastic on, I would tack it a bit further down. And this is just, you don't have to do this, but if you want to make sure it's absolutely straight when you sew it in, make sure you set your stitch to the longest because we're going to remove this. And then just hold the elastic straight because when you sew it together, it will come undone. It will stop it going skewy. That will come out. It doesn't matter if it's splayed across like that. Right, so what we do next is we're going to sew the whole bag together and it's really simple. Fold the bag in half and match up the sides And because I know it looks a bit of an odd shape. You need to iron a crease just across the bottom of here because we're going to use that to do our box bottom. So that's an important bit. You need to put that crease in. Then sew it together down the sides. Um, so it's a, three, a quarter of an inch seam allowance and all the seam allowances are 
involved inside the pattern pieces already so you don't need to add seam allowances they're already included in each of the fabric pieces okay so you just take it right to the edge and then all the yeah. way down yeah and there are sort of well it's just the outer edge of each of the pattern pieces so that's all done for you so you can see this is actually really easy if you're very new to sewing yeah then this is a really good way to start you could even buy this this is a gift for somebody now you can learn now if you've never done this technique how to box corners so to box the corner normally you would be matching a seam at the bottom and a seam at the side but we've got a crease at the bottom but that's fine that's why i press that in we're going to pretend that that's a seam okay and then open out the side seam yeah open up the side seam and match that with that crate that crease at the bottom and then what you just press that and again then you can press it. I'm going to just pin it together. If you give that a press, it does help to keep that seam pressed open, but also yeah. it gives it a flatter finish because you don't want any creases when you're doing this. And then match that side seam. Do open it. It'll be like flatter. Make sure that crease is matching with that. Give it a little press. Like that. And then I'm going to sew those box corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way across there. So that's why you need it to be nice and flat. So this is very simple to do, and it's only a little seam. But it's important that you have that crease. If you can't see the crease across the bottom, then just mark it on with a, um, an erasable pen so that you can see it. But it's actually easier because you're not matching two seams like you normally would do with a box corner. It's a bit easier because you're just matching a crease. So you, don't, you haven't got any seam matching. Got you, yeah. There we go. So that looks very straightforward. Yes, yeah, easy, isn't it? So now yeah. we've got our bag out. Lovely, yeah. That's, That's all really neat. Really neat. Yeah. Give that a little press. It's easier to press this now before you start lining it. So just press those corners out, out and open. Right, now when you do your lining, you're going to make the lining in exactly the same way. Obviously, you won't be putting elastic on. But the lining is done, it looks exactly the same. The only difference is there's a hole. So you leave a, a, a hole on purpose. It's a turning gap, so this is where we're going to turn it right sides out. Normally you'd leave it in the bottom seam, but obviously this doesn't have a bottom seam. So you leave it in the side seam. This is all in the instructions, so don't worry. Um, now, place the two bags right sides facing. Doesn't matter which one's on the outside. I'm going to put the lining on the outside. So turn one inside out and then place them right sides facing and then you need to match them together at the side seams so just open up the side seams and make sure that they the match up the, right okay if you roll back the seam like that you can see easily it will just look slightly neater if they match up exactly but if they don't it doesn't really matter as long as they're in the same sort of place there it will it'll only be visible at the top so match those side seams so you see I, this is where I've used that blue spotty poplin but you could use anything from this stash once you when you get to where the elastic is you can see the ends are poking up that makes it more stable because otherwise the elastic can pull out if you do it right on the edge and then just match up these they will match up exactly because you've used the outer as a pattern piece yeah for the lining so you know they'll match up now i'm going to sew them together all the way around the top again using a quarter of an inch seam allowance it's um it's big enough wide enough for you to be able to do this without having to put it over your machine bed just sew together a little bit of the way open it out and then sew on there Right, when yeah. you reach the elastic, just go a little bit more slowly just because obviously it's a slightly more bulk. You don't need to reverse stitch over there, this, because you're going to be top stitching later. And that will, normally I would say, if you're sewing over something like a piece of elastic, sew over it twice to um, secure it. But we're going to top stitch this in a minute, so that'll be your second seam anyway. Is this all making yes. sense? Yeah, Ian? no, absolutely. You're yeah, be I'm with it. One yeah, later. Totally, I'm with it now. Yeah, <laughs> got you. Right. Okay. Open it up. 
Now this seam is going to be lying on the top of our bag and to make it easier to get the seam to lie on the top, if you press the seam open at this stage, when you turn it right sides out, it will lie on top better and easier. Although sometimes I really can't be bothered to do this because I hate pressing seam, little seams open like this. Yeah, it's, um, it's easier to get it to lie on the top. So if you just do it sort of in quarters. Sort of stage at a time. You can do it like yeah. that. And it's just to get it to lie on the top, it works better like that. That's when there's the mini irons would have a been A mini ideal, iron yes. would have been ideal. Yeah. Not a big fat iron, but it's fine because any anything that you crease on the fabric underneath you can remove later. So that's just one little thing. Whenever you're doing anything where you've got a seam that you want to lie on the edge, if you press the seam open, it's a lot easier. Right, there we go. So now we've got that turning gap. So put your hand in the gap, grab hold of the bottom of the bag, pull it right sides out through the hole. And there we go. Then just pop your hand inside and push out those corners. And that's why I press those corners open earlier so, so you can get right in, yeah. Um, now all you need to do is, the turning gap needs so enclosed, you can do this by machine or by hand. I'm going to do it by machine because it's quicker. So just top stitch along there. If you want it to be a little bit neater, because obviously this is the fabric is overlapping, so you're making it slightly narrower, then slip stitch by hand. But you don't have to do that. I always top stitch mine by machines, it's just easier. Um, scissors right so now we have finished that I'm going to put the lining inside and this is where we will top stitch across what you've got to do first is remove those tacking stitches that was holding that, uh, that the hold the loop piece. Yeah. and now your loop you could use a hairband for this that's another good thing that works for elastic. I mean you can okay. you can actually buy elastic but <laughs> <laughs> Mask, loops and hair bands work Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And you can buy them easily as well. So now this top seam needs to lie right on the edge and the easy because you've pressed that open, it's it will lie really easily. If you don't, you have to spend a little bit more time. But you can see that lies really easily mm -hmm. on the edge. Yeah. There we go. And then all you have to do is top stitch around the edge that to finish it off. Um I'm not going to finish the whole bag, but what I what you do now is press it. So on all of the bags, there is actually a centre squ square, which is the centre of the front of the bag. So you need to press it along that square. If you're using a fabric that doesn't have that printed on, then you just need to make sure you press it straight because these are the out, outer edges of the bag. So taking a little bit of time, maybe you could steam it as well to press these parts. This is what will give your fold over bag its shape just that yes she was going to say that's giving it some shape like now. Yeah. i'm thinking like a paper bag yeah you know yes. that they would have those creases in yeah so now it's got its shape you can fold those points like this now what you can do i didn't do it with mine but sometimes on these if you want these to stay in place you could work like a little over sewing stitch okay. or some people put like those tiny rivets in yeah just to hold those but you oh, don't okay. need to do that and then all you have to do is fold this over so that it meets up with the top of the printed bit yeah. and then sew a button there. Perfect. So uh, what you do is you fold it over, see where it lands, because it depends how big your loop is. You I know if I gave you an exact position, that might not be right for your loop. Just make a mark and then sew the button on through the layers and that is it done. Yeah, that's it's very really straightforward. It's very Re easy, yeah, isn't brilliant. it? Yeah. And that's you know half an hour. Yeah, easy. Yeah. It's really, yeah. really easy. And then you can make you can make loads of them then, once you know how to. So if you've got all of the panels in all of the different ones, you can make lots and lots of little gift bags. But it looks nice. I made these last year for my Christmas table, and put like little miniatures yeah, in. Perfect. So I guess so. Obviously the the bottle one exactly the same, but it's just the the taller. Yes, it's done yes. in a similar way. Yeah. It's done with sides though. It, you yeah. have separate gusset pieces for the sides. Um, what should we move on to the next one now? Yeah. Yes. Now, do you want? To oh, are you going to do another? Should we bag? recap the kits, Ben? Okay. Why not? Because we need to let's go rem back. Let's yeah. remind everyone <laughs> the four different designs that we've got. So we start with woodland. So we've got the. Uh, Where have they gone? 
Well, should we start with the... No, we'll have the, we'll get yeah. the woodland, okay. but Levi is so organised. He's tidied up for us already. <laughs> He's tidied up for us already. Those are, thank you. And all these samples. Lovely. Right, so let's recap. The th these are the woodland yep, ones. Okay. We're going to do it really, really yep. quick. So all fourteen ninety nine. So, yeah, the woodland, you're getting the, the bottle bag. The gift bag. The nice little drawstring pouch. And the little fold-over bag, which is the which one... Which you've just made. The one that I've just made. And that only took... Really no time quick, whatsoever. Really, really quick. They're ever so easy, and and there is a full tutorial, so I don't need to. So I'm saying, show with, so with these sort of similar, obviously with with that. They have yeah. side gussets yeah. in them. Yeah. So they're okay. similar, and similar the, to the that bottle, one. Yes. Just same. They have you join the same, side yeah. and the base gussets, and then sew them to the front. And of the back. it feels like have you put something in that one? I just one put wadding, wadding in, that one. in it, just to give it a bit of. If you are going to put a bottle yeah, in, yeah. Well, a bit that's of why I think it, it makes it a bit more substantial. You yes. could put bosal in it to make it even more structured. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But the wadding does give it a bit more structure yes. which yeah, I think nice yes I think so it needs put that the for bottle, bottle doesn't yeah, it yeah definitely I mean Lovely. you could even put insulated wadding in and then take a bottle oh. of champagne from and the it was fridge cool. Yes. and cool on arrival yes Christmas absolutely. morning there's the panel that's what you're getting 14.99 there we go look at that you get all so of that like for 14 all of that with and the instructions don't forget of course yeah detailed instructions yeah this is a big pack of instructions because you've got four projects on there so i've gone through it all in a lot of detail um the next one is so that was woodland the 12 days 12. Twelve days of christmas yes right let's show you the projects for this so bottle. absolutely again <laughs> we do like a tag the team carrot carry up there and we then are. you get the gift tote 12 days of Christmas then you get the little um, partridge in a pear tree drawstring bag yeah and the 12 days on the other side and the five gold rings little fold over bag and obviously remember they all come with matching gift yeah, tags as well tags lovely uh, this is what the panel looks like so if you can't decide just get one of each and then that's all of your Christmas presents well this is it absolutely uh, 14 you'd definitely get a couple wouldn't you to yeah well, it's just nice. It's a nice touch, isn't it? Yes. I know whenever I make fabric gift bags for people, people always keep them as well. They go, oh, that's lovely. And then they, <laughs> well, that's, this is it, And yeah. then they keep their socks in them it's, or something. It's much better and environmentally friendly than having uh, paper is. that you just throw away. People always keep them. Yeah. Um, right, so then the next one is, oh, should we do oh, the, 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 the gnomes. gnomes? Yeah, let's do the gnomes. Just need the gnome panel. Uh, so, yeah, so again, so you've got the bottle bag with a Mr and Mrs Gnome so if you're may, making a or giving a gift to a male or female it doesn't matter there we are and then the little gift bag as well Mr and Mrs Gnome the sh he gnome and she gnome <laughs> yeah yeah there we go and then the uh, the drawstring bag sounds like she love, wolf love. doesn't it and of course the lovely little gift tags which you rightly says you can write mm. uh, the name of the person on in a friction pen <laughs> iron it off <laughs> and then you give it to somebody else exactly saves on Brilliant. picking their name doesn't yeah. it or you could yeah. just write it in permanent pen and let them keep it forever yes, yeah but there is a thought yeah there, and there we go. go that's the panel with all of the different nomi names on all the pieces such a lovely. tricky one and then the um I was going to say the final one, but it isn't. It's right. not. No, we've then, got, yeah. Then the we've got traditional, the classic, yeah, the traditional Christmas, which is the post box and Robin and Holly. So the bottle bag has the post box on the front and bag. We call it Christmas classics, this one. And then the gift bag has the um, Christmas wreath on it with the holly that says Merry Christmas in it. Lovely. And um, then we have the drawstring gift bag and there is a fold over bag only we can't find it do you know i'm absolutely certain we had it this morning because i counted them so all of those oh and there's the i'll find it later panel. it's probably got into the flat block of the month box there's there's a lot of panels on the show there's today a lot of panels i know yeah. i've got them mixed yes. up 
But there yeah. you are, you can see what they look like. That's what the fold over bag looks like. The most wonderful time of the year. There we go. There we go. And then the very final one is this sort of gingerbread man one. So the um, bottle bag has got the snow globe with the gingerbread house in and it's got, it's all colours of teals and pinks. It's very pretty Christmas. Yes. And you've got gingerbread yeah, man around the sides. Um, you've got yes. the, the gift Lovely. bag. Lovely. There we go. And um, the little drawstring gift bag. Could be a gingerbread bag. woman all that as well. Could be gingerbread man it or woman. It could be man, man or, or lady. woman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There we go, oh, and then nice. you've got the little fold-over bags, really cute, with a baby gingerbread house on it. And obviously they all come with gift tags as well, and I'll show you the panel very quickly. There we go, there's the panel for that one. Again, same Lovely. instructions come with all of them, and the full video tutorial is on the Amber Makes website under the very tutorial nice. section. So once you've ordered your kit, you can watch it before you get the kit, and then you'll be all ready to go. You nice. will be fully Christmas gift bagged up. Absolutely. Brilliant. Right, so that's all the gift all bags. Um, so they have been flat. So we're going to talk to you. You've also days. made yes. Because you is there a charm? There's everything. The squares. There's, there's everything. <laughs> yes. So what we decided with the 12 days of Christmas is that we created um, a panel that has all of these 12 days on. Now, you can either buy the kit, which comes with the panel, all the red fabric, the gold fabric, Lovely. the instructions and the cream fabric, everything to make the kit, or you can buy the panel on its own. Y right, yes. Um, and you can also get it in another colourway. So just to really complicate matters. So. And you can get instructions on their own. This is such a choice. So that's the other colourway. That's the other colourway. And way. that's the with the as a panel. Yes. Is that, is that the panel? No, that's the quilt. That's okay. So that's the other colour option. That's called icy blue. So you that's can either the buy blues. the multicoloured or the icy blues. Now, should we? We'll start with the red kit. Yeah. Okay. So this is the red kit. So it's fifty four ninety nine, and you get everything for the quilt. Brilliant top. to make all of that. So somehow we'll have, so on the panel this is what comes go. in the kit you have got the squares each of the squares for the 12 days of christmas so that's a again a really big size panel big, that one big yes yeah. yeah, so it's a big yeah. panel yes so there's you've got 12 individual and these are all 13 by 13 yes, inch. yeah they are so, yeah. and then they are trimmed down slightly to size to make the quilt so okay. you get that on there yes then in the rest of the kit you get the red fabric you get a um, metre and a half of the red fabric on the overhead. Okay, and that's, that's for the, the border the and the inside, yes. You get a metre of the gold fabric that's used yeah, for the satin for the stars. and the stars. And then you get half a metre of ivory and that's used for the yeah. squares and the outer stars. Yeah. And you get full instructions which show you exactly how to make the quilt. It's a really simple quilt. And again, there's a full video tutorial for that. So fifty-four ninety-nine. The finished size of the quilt is seventy by fifty-six inches, and you can make the whole quilt. And that's as you can see from behind. And we'll look so just like that. So that's so fifty-four ninety-nine. You're getting a, a huge panel. What you say that was a meter and a half, a meter and a half a meter. Yeah. yeah so uh, two, three, three meters. meters. And there's enough fabric for the binding yeah. as well on the quilt. You obviously you'll need the wadding and the backing separately. That's listed. If you go onto the website, you'll see it. If you want the, just the panel, yes, this one, which is the one we just showed you, which we'll yes. that one up. So if you yep. want just the panel, yep. see, with this, we're giving so much choice, I've confused myself. But sometimes we'll do the kit, and people want the panel, we'll do the panel, people want the kit. So we've li we've given you plenty of choice. Now, I know a lot, this is what we sold out of last time. A yeah. lot of people have bought this, they've used it to make table mats or a table runner. Yeah, brilliant. Or yeah, that's gift a really good bags. Idea. Oh, yeah, bigger gift bags. Bigger absolutely. gift bags. So that's slightly more. So that's 19 99 But again, for you a panel that size, all that's of them. huge. Yeah. Yeah. 19 99 for the whole panel. Obviously, that comes in the kit, but if you want it separately. Yes. There we go. Um, and we've also have the instructions on their own because the quilt itself uses 12 inch squares 
so if you've got other 12 inch squares of other fabrics or you've bought another panel or you just lay out the idea you want to make the quilt we've got the instructions on their own and then you can use that using any 12 inch squares or if you want to use different coloured fabrics and you want to use the got panel. You, so you could, yeah, you can make that, but if you just wanted to have, you could either have those plain or, yes. or you could have them with, as you said, if you've got other 12 inch panels you could use. Right, now we've got exactly the same quilt, but in icy blue. So that's over the other side. So can we show a picture of that? There we go. Right, so exactly the same. That's it, that's the one. Oh, nice. I miss it. Oh, they've sent me the wrong colour. Lovely. Right, so the icy blues one, you obviously get the panel. We'll yes. show you the panel. There we go. So okay. Now we sold out the panels of this one as well. Of more yes. loads of people. But yeah, we have got so that's the panel that you get in the icy blues. And then for the rest of the quilt you get um the mid blue you get a light blue which i haven't got they've sent me gold for some reason and you get white but you'll see it on the, the big panel so that's the web inch and you get the instructions so 54.99 but this is icy blues yeah now Lovely. if you want the panel on its own yeah so again yeah 19.99 19.99 so that's the icy blues panel so if you want just the panel because i know some people bought both panels and made an even bigger quilt with both of them so that's icy blues so 19.99 yeah. this is the one that we sold out of as well because everybody wanted the panels um but we have had them reprinted so if you want just the icy blues panel there it is for 19.99 there we go um, and still plenty of time before christmas to make these oh, yeah, i it's, think it's yeah. quite it's a really it is, yeah it is an easy make yeah actually and i quilted that myself on my machine it doesn't require anything i quilted stars okay, in the yes, center yeah and then just quilt around the edges didn't do anything fancy is, is it, did you is there a design for that or did no you do it i did explain how to i just cut out a star from freezer paper ironed it on and then use that as a transfer it, and yeah. then sewed it on brilliant very nice so just really easy Right, charm panels. So, should we do the charm panels first? Let's do multicoloured. So, we've done, because we oh, know you love the charm are panel. These are so really, cute. yeah. So and again, cute. we're really, really popular last time. So, these are the, all of the 12 days of Christmas, but as five inch squares. So, they're different, slightly different versions. So, some of them you've got them with the label three French hens, some of them you've got the friends with the three, with so the they're slightly on. different. Yeah, yeah, you brilliant. get two gift tags with this, yeah, and little images of the 12 days, yeah. So, all sorts of different things. Make Excellent. yourself the, the perfect Christmas gift bag with this or shopping bag, yeah, definitely. Or, as you said, if you you know, table mm. mats. Yeah, Place beautiful. Mats, all kinds of things. Brilliant. So that's the multicoloured charm squares. But obviously we had to do it in the icy blues as well. Yes. Because we can Well, the problem is, you see, we do these and then Amy goes, which colour do you like? And I go, I don't know. We'll Both. Do those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this is where this is where it all gets complicated because we can never decide. So we have to do it in both colours. So just don't exactly. give me a choice. P it is. Please don't give me a choice. <laughs> Absolutely. There we go, there's the icy blues charm squares. And then I, I have to try and work out to put the whole thing into the I know, and then Pauline in goes, the... what? How many are we doing? Because I go, right, I've had this really good idea, and he has no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so what we also did was, with the charm squares, I keep saying this, don't I, is I wanted to make it into something so you could see what you could do with it. So we've got two kits. So. Um, and this is the charming shadow. Charming shadow. So yes. this was a design that we did a while ago. Yeah. This is icy that with the bird of the month. Yes. <laughs> Going back, but it works really Although, so well with twelve days of Christmas. It does perfectly. So we've put a kit together, and um, it's the the technique is called shadow box. So because of the design, because you've got the grey fabric and the white fabric, it makes the charm squares look like they're floating. Yes, they've got 3D effects. It's yeah. illusion quilting. Yeah, lovely. I really love I illusion like quilting. So the kit has the panel, the instructions, and the fabric. Yes. So that's, you're getting the grey and the ivory, and of course the instructions And the instructions. As well. Yeah. 
and then that will create this and that's all 29.99 so that's a, a great price actually that is really it's a brilliant good, price for that because that's and it's a really again nice technique to learn as well i love illusion quilt and i think it's so clever things like baby blocks and stuff all where it looks 3D. yes yeah no it's lovely really great and then effects. obviously we couldn't do the icy blues without not, doing the multicolored <laughs> yes so i didn't have time to quilt this one i buy on the edge so that's uh, can yeah. you hold that one yeah your arms along there we go so that's what it looks like in multicolored very nice 29.99 again and then we do i think the oh i tell you there's one there is one more thing well, i thought we'd finished but we also did the fatter quarter panel ah yes i think we only did this in one colorway didn't we please tell me we did this in only one colorway <laughs> So I know this was really popular last time. So you get four fatter quarters. Now, uh, the reason it's called fatter quarter is because our fabric is wider than your normal 44 inch width fabric. Yeah, exactly. So these are 19 and a half by 27 and a half inches. Each of the squares, you get four squares in the print. So you've got the 12 days of Christmas, the little icons and the figures in green, pink, dark blue and light blue. So you can use these for your makes. So maybe you've bought the gift bag collection. You could buy yeah. this to line. Got you, got them. you. Yeah, absolutely. Because there's enough or here to line all of those. Because you, yeah, actually you're getting four mm. much larger Fat, fat quarters or maybe yeah. you've bought the big panel and you want to make some bags and use it for lining or maybe you just like the fabric and you want to use them for yeah or oh, you've got fat quarter design or something you want mm. to make a bag of yeah anything so is that everything ben fat have i covered friendly, all of it very nice <laughs> I, I can't see anything on the no, desk that we I haven't discussed. I think we may have done it yes. all. Anyway, all Ribbon. of it is on the website. Yeah, absolutely. If there's um, anything that you see. should. Yeah. And when, if there's a specific kit and you want to know about the extras you might need, if you go onto the website, I have listed everything. So if you need specific wadding. Oh, I, oh yes, the metallic yes, ribbon. Yes, we've got a couple of... I put that in because you need ribbon yeah. for the um, gift tags. Got you, yes, yeah, Baby's just to, ribbon. and again, it's just something quite nice to get, put the finishing touches to it. Are these the two, same? Two ninety-eight, ideal. Oh, you get both of them. Yeah, oh, that's two not packs. Bad. Look oh, two at packs that. For two two both of those for three quid, less than. Excellent bargain. There we Excellent. go. So get get those. Um, anyway, yeah, so if you need anything else but want to see what's in it before you buy it, then that's on the website. Thank you for joining me for this hour. Thank you no, for joining me. No, no, it's been a pleasure. I've really enjoyed watching you make the uh, little you? gift bag. That was, that was <laughs> excellent. We've, there's some fantastic stuff here. There was, mm. as you said, don't forget there's the HEPA air purifiers. Yeah. Pleasant. Like you said, everything that you you painstakingly put all the details on so if you go into the product description yes, on the website it'll there. tell you what you need the extra fabrics that you you'll need if you don't want to buy them in the kits loads there of stuff go. christmas well, you is enjoy, sorted enjoy um, the rest of your birthday i will thank you yes they might have eaten all of your cake while you were gone well i cut myself a slice slice before said, i left so i put it. i've left it on my that's mine <laughs> yeah definitely oh. well i'll see you um i'll see you one o'clock yes finished. yeah absolutely come up for my piece of cake <laughs> yeah also, you've got to make sure you've got to have some yeah <laughs> definitely all right um i'll see you back here in a few minutes time adam's going to be back with us for a jacket masterclass we're going to talk yeah. about lapels and oh, collars nice. we've got two brilliant um, jackets and i've had a long chat with him about patchwork jackets so if you've thought about making one of those he's going to show be showing some tips as how to use a normal jacket packet pattern to adapt it lovely. but this is the jacket making masterclass so don't go anywhere i'll see you in about three minutes time Hi, I'm Jo Carter and I'm a soft toy designer and I quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed and so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials but then to just give it a go. Um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, oh, well always, focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill so, so those perfect results will come in time but developing a love for sewing i think is a really great way to go and a tip i've been given that i still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers 
it's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one that makes it doubly frustrating um, so yes plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. 
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Welcome back to Sewing Street and to the Adam Brooks Jacket Making Masterclass. No there pressure. <laughs> I know, when they use the word masterclass, it's yeah. like, wow, okay. That makes you master. <laughs> Very exciting. Well, I'm excited to talk jackets. Yeah, so am I. I love a jacket. So we're going to talk all things jacket. We'll need one now. We need jackets now. It is jacket season. Um, but first of all, I was going to talk, I talked about this at 8 o'clock. This is coming up on Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock. So I want to just give you a little sneak chat about it because it's very, very special. This yarn has been developed by West Yorkshire Spinners in association with Future Dreams, which is a breast cancer charity. They are, um, they have just wove spun it and dyed it in the colours of the charity and will be donating money to the charity with every ball. It's extremely special because there was a knitting and a crochet pattern on the inside of the ball that um, you can knit or crochet a flower which you can then give to somebody, you can donate to the charity for them to make a display but it's a really nice way of helping out a very important charity. Also it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month so they've done it in conjunction with them and the, and the charity has a lot of yarn therapy groups where they um, ladies get together to do knitting and crochet as a you know as getting through their treatment. Anyway, Danielle from West Yorkshire Spinners will be with me in an hour to talk about it. But I just didn't want anyone to miss out. We've got it on the website. So if you want to shop ahead and you want to you know help out a really worthwhile course and buy the most beautiful ball of yarn at the same time, there we go. If you go on to sewingstreet.com click on watch live and scroll down from there we do have limited stocks um, that we've got from West Yorkshire Spinners and obviously um, they will be donating money to the Future Dreams Charities part of this anyway Daniel will be with me in an hour and she will tell us the whole story so if you buy anything today make it this ball a Future Dreams yarn okay right now on to the jacket making masterclass so let's start with the Cambria duster pattern. So this is beautiful. Um, so tell me about a duster jacket then, Adam. A duster jacket, something you keep dusters in, isn't it? <laughs> 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 this is a lovely shape. Um, yeah, I, I love the collar detail on this. Mm, really it's beautiful. beautiful. Nice flattering fit again, um, with a tie at the front as well. So it's not too dissimilar, really, once it's done up to a Mac or a trench it coat in style. Idea, isn't it? Um, but it does the coat is a little bit looser in terms of uh, fit. And you can see the model on the pattern that you've got there is actually wearing it open. And again, it gives a real quite trendy vibe, it actually, is. doesn't it's like, it? It's For, like a long line cardigan, but smarter. Yes, exactly. I think, I'm sure I've read that they were originally um, made when like motorbikes first came out. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, well, you think like, the cars. first thing that 
comes to mind is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yes, yes. And the, and they wear one in Chitty. And it's to keep all that dust off because obviously they didn't have roofs yeah. and things. So but for, now it's become a real fashion yeah. thing. Yeah, and that is a testament to classics, mm. isn't it? Because it it's, stood the test of time. And I love that long length thing because you, if you, if it's cold, you can tie it up, but if mm. it's a bit cool, you can have it open. So this has been extremely popular, 19.99. Now the size range of this is from a 32 to a 54 inch bust, so a nice big size range. So we're going to be talking about that. But we've also got another jacket, and I love this jacket. It's called the Ilford jacket. It's lovely, isn't it? So this is a versatile style that's that's modular design. The modular design makes it simple yet impactful. It features drop shoulders and comes with two sleeve options, a placketed sleeve with a cuff and an easy to sew boxy sleeve for a more relaxed vibe. It also includes two lengths as well as a bunch of pocket templates that you can mix and match. This is a fun skill building pattern that you will want to make wear again and again. And again. So, it can be a longer length jacket. There's a picture on the back of it. There's a longer length jacket. Um, this comes in a size 32 to 46 inch bust. Um, we've got it here, we well, can see on the model, in a lovely burgundy corduroy. And with this one, it's got the cuff option on it. But you don't have to have the cuff. You can just have it loose. Very, and it's a, um, it is a unisex pattern as well. Oh yeah, do they say? Yes, they must be because of the size. Yeah, no, they are both um, unisex as well. So what great. So if you want to have a go at making a jacket, we've got two choices for there for you. Um, I'm just going to go through the fabrics that would be work well for them because we've got some gorgeous fabrics. If you make the jacket, you need the fabric, don't you? Um, now, I've got the fabric available that the um, duster jacket is in, which is this gorgeous tweed. Isn't that beautiful? This is a tweed. It's JRW564. A tweed herringbone it is. Now, this is by the half metre. Because obviously you need different quantities depending on which one you are making. Um, is there a picture of the chart the yardage requirements so for the extra small which is the 32 inch chest you need four. well you need four meters for the extra small and for the larger size you need four and a half meters so unless you will need four meters unless you are between a 47 and a 54 inch bust and then you'll need four and a half that's nice and simple isn't it so that's that gorgeous tweed that's really stunning isn't it 12.99 for a half a meter but this is it's extremely stylish beautiful right then the rest of the fabric is in two and a half meter pieces okay well, i'll go through the two and these two and a half so these i guess the two and a half this is for the um ilford jacket so we've got this lovely denim Oh, do you want, you need the code on that. Have you got the code on that one? Okay. This is a lovely denim. Now, this is folded with the wrong side out. Denim cotton. Now, look at that. It's your eight ounce. So, it's different to the, um, oh, you've got the light blue. That's all right. I'll get the light blue. It's different to the one that if you were watching previously when we had the denim um, for the dress. This is an eight ounce denim. So, this is suitable for a jacket. Now, look at the price of that. You're getting two and a half metres and I'm just going to check the yardage requirements. Yep, that's that's uh, what you will need for the short jacket in any size. So this jacket that we've got there, any size, twenty three ninety nine. Make your own denim jacket. That's amazing. That's the light blue. We've also got it in the medium blue. And remember, this is an eight ounce denim, so it's different to the one that we had previously. This is perfect for a jacket. That's an amazing price. Again, for the medium blue, that's this one. There you go. That's what the, I'll show you more at the end. That's the light blue. But this one that's on screen at the moment is for the medium blue. $23.99. Bargain. 
Hi, duster coats were originally worn by motorists in open cars to keep their clothes clean from soon beaston. I knew it was something to yeah. do. With. I couldn't remember if it was motorcycles or motor cars because yeah, right. um, all that dust coming in. Thank you very much, Sue, to clarify that. They should have got themselves a HEPA air purifier, shouldn't they? They wouldn't yeah. have needed dust again. <laughs> if only they'd been invented then. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sue. So you can, um, have you got a soft up car? You'll need a duster coat. Um, but they have now become a fashion item, like many of these things um, that were invented originally, like jeans were invented. That's what you know, wear. Were, were, and now we all wear them. So. Yeah. Um, this is the dark denim. That's it's kind of in, indigo colour. Twenty three ninety nine. That's your two and a half metre piece. That's enough to make the, the largest size of that um, Ilford jacket. And then we move on to corduroy, which is beautiful. Shall we? It's uh, this one is K I L J twenty. So this is like a a neutral bay cream. It's an eight whale corduroy, is it? Two and a half meters. So the whales are the little bumps in the corduroy. So the more whales, the finer the cord. So like a, a needle cord is often like a 15 whale, but this is eight. 18, 1899 for two and a half meters. That's amazing, isn't it? That's very good. 1899 for two and a half meters. This is a very deep beigey cream, I'd say. It's not a light cream. We also have this corduroy in other colours as well. I've got a lovely green. Oh, I like that. That's like uh, proper forest green, fur green. What have we called it? Bottle, yeah. I know, it makes me think of school uniform, bottle green. Bottle green, um, 18 99 for your own corduroy jackets are very in at the moment. And you know, at that price, it's great, isn't it? Because if you're new to jacket making, you know, it's not too expensive to start off, is it? No, it's a very good price for that amount of fabric. I know. Really good. Good range of colours as well. Right? <laughs> what like did a few of them. say? <laughs> He just said to me something like, only the most handsome men wear corduroy jackets. Is that right, Ben? Have you seen oh, what he's wearing has today? He got one on? <laughs> 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 he always has me. He always does. <laughs> I'm not repeating anything else he says. Only the most handsome men wear corduroy jackets at, who, who are called Ben. <laughs> um, lovely burgundy. Now that's the same colour as the, um, the sample that we've got there. Wine. Red wine. So that's the colour of the one that we have there. Again, 18.99. Two and a half metres. I mean, you know, buy this, you don't have to use it for this jacket. I think that's an amazing price. And dressmaking fabric is not the easiest to find as well. Unless you go to a big shop and that's even not as easy oh, yeah. either. And at a good price as well. An amazing price. Um, black, midnight black. Have we called this one black? Oh, amazing. Not midnight. 1899 again two and a half meters of the black and then very very finally last a lot least navy you I could, want that one do you want that I want, one i just love anything think, navy <laughs> wouldn't it be great to um make a pair of trousers as well a corduroy suit i've got i a think pair. it'd be amazing i've got a pair of navy Have corduroy you? trousers you somewhere. need to make the jacket be hilarious wouldn't it the oh yeah, for you maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the full corduroy, a bit Austin Powers, isn't it? A full corduroy suit. I feel like proper dapper. But do you know what? As a statement piece, I don't know whether I could wear a full suit. No, but it is, it is a real statement, isn't it? Yeah, and the jacket is perfect for that. It's beautiful. Right, so that's all the products and all the things. So let's get on with the jacket. Because have we got some boucle? Oh, I haven't got any boucle. I think it's because you could make the duster coat from um, a boucle fabric if you wanted to. Oh, okay. To. 
We're doing it with the boo. We have got some boucle as well. Some only bouquet. it's um, <laughs> mine's of like hyacinth bouquet, yeah. except boucle. Yeah, hyacinth boucle. <laughs> Uh, we will move back to the boucle if we find it. <laughs> Who's the boucle? We've stolen the boucle. <laughs> you the boucle. Oh, did you? I've got some boucle in my bag. Oh, did you steal I've it? I've not nicked it, but oh, you could have so it. So we had some boucle earlier. Adam's now got some in his bag. I have some that you sent me at home. Do you mm. want it? Yeah, we'll move on from the boucle and we'll try and find out who stole it. <laughs> no, it's it's been momentarily mislaid. Momentarily really. mislaid. We'll find it in a moment after our jacket making masterclass. So, we're going to block views. There's different techniques for jacket there making. Is. There and is. And rather than make both of the jackets, which we have made previously yeah. on Sewing Street, we're going to go through the techniques. Yes. So, I'm going to concentrate with you today on the collar. Oh, good, right, okay. Because yes. um, what we've done in the past, we've done both of these and the plackets have been expa explained and the cuffs have been mm. explained. So you can always go back on YouTube and, and see some of the demos for those. Uh, but quite often we don't get to put the collar in, so I really want to give that a stab today, okay, right. if possible. Um, but we were talking about block fusing in the last show. Yes. So, I'm gonna so do... for, uh, people, for people who weren't watching all morning, no idea why. But yeah, why watch, were you often. not? Why were you not watching the whole morning? Why did you have a life? Um, so what is block fusing? So basically, I've took a strip of the fabric here, and you can take as much as you want. And I'm just going to lay the interfacing on there. And I'm going to take a pressing cloth because some irons don't like the interfacing. No. If you have the iron too hot. Um, and then, as I always say with interfacing, it's just about applying pressure um, and heat, not ironing it like you'd iron your clothes. Right. Pressing rather than ironing. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Because it's called pressing, isn't it? Yeah, it and is, and, and is. that's why, because we want you to press. You don't want to be ironing anything. That's it. I've just looked on the recommended things there. It says for eight seconds, but obviously I'm doing it a bit speedier for telly. Right. And then all you're going to do is move along and then we're going to actually cut out this collar piece. I've got my other collar piece cut out because one is interfaced and one is not. Um, but you had some great ideas for this jacket. Yes. So because I really want to, I keep talking about Patrick jacket. I bought the pattern. I bought the fabric. Just got to make the jacket. And what's hold? Oh, the boucle's arrived. Look at there that. There it the is. Oh, there's some lovely colours there. Ooh, there is some beautiful colours. Oh, I like the mustard. Um, because what I'm struggling with, this is why I haven't started the jacket, because either of these jackets, particularly the um, Ilford one, would be perfect to use that pattern as your patchwork, because you can't just buy a patchwork jacket kit. You have to buy a jacket, and then you have to think about the patchwork. So yeah. Ben's got some pictures for us of um, what other people that I found who have made, used the Ilford pattern and made a patchwork jacket. So I thought, oh. when Adam came in, I said, can you give us some advice about how I go from that jacket to this patchwork jacket? Because this is the Ilford pattern. So there's one. I mean, how beautiful is that? How different does it look? Uh, completely. It's the same jacket, though. The same it's got those, pattern. Because there are different pocket options on that yeah. on the jacket, so you could do that one. Um, here's another one. Love that one. I mean, that's just like a, that's like an Irish chain, isn't it? It's lovely. Or, or just squares. I mean, they've just pieced squares. Yeah. And rolled the sleeves up a bit. That's it. How fab is that? And then the one, this is my favourite one. And I don't know with this one, whether it's the colours or the pattern. So that one, if you look at it, is actually a specific... It's a specific pattern. It, well, it's nothing special, is it? It's just squares. It's some squares, blocks, isn't it? In blo yeah, in there's not a, none of these are complicated patchwork. No, and actually, the pattern itself is not complicated. Right, and then look at the back of this one. So this one, they've same jacket, but they put a feature block on the back. So you've got your half square triangles in there, haven't you? Yeah, that's yes. It's just that's just half square triangles. Gorgeous. Anyway, that is so. I just went onto Instagram and put in Ilford jacket pattern and found all those pictures. So, this is the perfect jacket to use for this. So, where would you start if you wanted to do that? Yeah. Okay. So, um, basically, what I'd do is I'd design, I'd, I'd decide obviously sizing and everything mm. else and what pockets that you wanted. 
um, I'd decide whether you're going to quilt it, which I'd imagine you would do if you're doing it yes. as a patchwork jacket. So you initially have to remember that if you're going to quilt it, that's going to add bulk when you're sewing it. Oh, so does that mean you need to go up a size then? Um, not necessarily, because I think this jacket is quite generous in its oh, sizing. Okay. So I don't think it's going to affect the sizing, but it's going to affect the way you construct it and the way you sew it. Right. So I would make the fabric first, so I'd patchwork it. It's it's quilting, basically. Okay. I'd do mm. your patchworking and then make your quilt sandwich. Um, and then I would cut my pattern pieces from the quilted the quilt, fabric right. this is how i would do it mm -hmm. i mean i'm sure there's plenty of other suggestions if people have made them um and then from that i would construct the jacket mm. now what i'd say is thinking about the finishing of the inside overlocking you could overlock it mm. it's probably going to be then three layers because you're going to have your wadding as well to get through yeah, the overlock so you've got at your the lining, same time. your wadding and your outer yeah so you're going to want to overlock singularly you're not going mm. to want to overlock seams together because that's going to be way too much for yeah, a domestic and just uh, overlocker to handle um and then the other thing is um in finishing like we talked about this morning you could bind the you seams bind and the seams. that's what i would do so you wouldn't make it quilt it and then line it as well you could I you'd have a lot of layers then though wouldn't you you would and to be honest the way to do that then you wouldn't be making a quilt sandwich would you you'd just be quilting your top fabric and your wadding yes yeah i guess so. which but i then, suppose you could do well but you not, can but not all machines like that it depends no that's it? what i mean well, does the wadding not get Sometimes caught a little bit underneath um you're going to want to use a walking foot but that's standard for a quilt yeah, too anyway true, isn't, it? isn't it um well, anyway you need to so say you could yeah. Or you could use a very lightweight lining in their back. But I'm liking the bound seams idea. I think that's yeah. like a good option. I think and so. And then you I just think... make it the same way as the pattern. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just think about where the areas are that are bulky. So, for instance, the collar, which we're mm -hmm. doing now, like you having to make sure that it's nice and clipped in the seam allowance. So you're not going to want bulk around the neck. So maybe you choose just a plain fabric. And not patchwork and the collar. And not patchwork yeah. the collar. Um, and I think that one on there did have a patchwork collar. But it depends on your level. If you're a beginner, then I would, you know, yeah. eliminate how hard that might be. But as a more advanced sewer, so it might be something that you well, can control. Well, maybe you wouldn't quilt the, qu quilt the collar. Quilt the koala. Quilt the koala. <laughs> Maybe you quilt the koala. <laughs> quilt the koala. Okay. So but, um, if, you, if you've if you made one, then just could you message us in and let us know which option you chose? It'd be interesting to know. Yeah, imagine. it would be really lovely to know. But right, yeah. so now we've made all the patchwork. So this is the collar. So you have already pressed the interfacing on. Yeah. And now we're cutting out the collar piece. Yeah, I've already cut one piece Tell out. you've been on the sewing bee. Use a rotary cutter. Well, you're I'm so brave so brave <laughs> right, it's just knowing how to so if ever you use a rotary cutter always away from you don't put your hand in the way make sure you mm. spare hands out the way um, and then when you're done with there's it, no room left. it yeah yeah see I'm, I just can't do that I just with the rule I'm fine but trying to do that do, I'll tell you a place. secret I always cut out with shears until I did the sewing bee and then for speed mm. and actually you can get in a quite accurate crook cut with a blade okay it's harder when you're doing like indentations so you've got to yeah, then get your but shears with that out. curve maybe you've that's cut out beautifully i like that honestly and it just um I, especially when i'm making lots of samples and making huge volumes mm. of costumes now that's the way and i've got my electric shears as well oh, at you? home yeah i'm going through eight layers of fabric at a time wow. doing costumes mm. But I mean, that's because I'm not sewing perf for perfection with costume. I'm sewing for an aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. Right then. So I've got my collar pieces cut out. But you know, because we've block fused it now, it's they're exactly the same shape because yeah. we cut them together and they're fused together. It's quite hard getting the interface exactly on there. Yeah. It's the same shape, isn't it? That's it. Now you are going to want to put a notch in the centre of the collar. Now, as far as jackets and collars go, this is actually quite an easy one. But it's a good place to start with an easy one. Um, you've got um, other collars in other patterns that might um, contain a stand. So a stand collar. Oh, My shirt good. pattern has a stand. Right. Which gives a better fit. 
but this is more of a relaxed fit so it doesn't require a stamp okay yes yeah, so that makes sense um and then you might, you might get a notched lapel and, mm. and collar and that's like more of the advanced stuff when you're doing blazers and jackets right and stuff. but this is a more relaxed jacket yeah. so you can just just a collar with no stand so i would say you know we're calling this master class but actually you know if you are a competent beginner you could have a go at tackling this Right, so then we're going to go right size together on the collar. Yeah, but it's the masterclass for the competent beginner. Well, so there you go. You can have a masterclass for experts, masterclass for beginners. Yeah. Well, this is it, isn't it? Well, we don't often get the time to focus on one element like this. No, so. I know. This bit is so <laughs> easy, but I am going to give a little tip that I've picked up, you know, from other sewists, sewers, whatever the word is these days. Well, the problem with sewers, it looks like sewers when you yeah. write it. So I think that's why well, sewist like was that. invented. So, that we, yeah. so you don't say sewers yeah but then it's weird in the day and age that we live in now because taylor and taylor s are yeah. kind of um you know quite masculine I mean, and feminine yeah. and why can't a lady be a tailor and if i wanted to be a taylor s i couldn't be i suppose <laughs> could oh, i oh yeah but then with actor and actresses now actress now it's just actor. exist they're all actors aren't yes. they? It's so confusing. I struggle to keep up. I'm going to be oh. honest with you. I don't mind what you call me. That's how I stand on so it. So maybe Taylor S's don't exist anymore. They're just all tailors. They're all just tailors, yeah. yeah well, at least so as you can be anything. You see, me? I would say I'm a dressmaker. And I think that I like yeah. dressmaker because it doesn't imply That anything. you only make dresses. Because dressmakers can oh, make yeah. trousers. Yeah. I have done so. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're at five eighths of Especially an inch. Especially corduroy trousers. <laughs> we're at five eighths of an inch all the way round, or it actually is one point six centimetres. I always say five eight eight. Five eighths of an one inch. One and a half centimetres. Oh, is that what the seam allowance is? Five eighths, yeah. Okay. Or one point six. Yeah, five eighths. So go five who's, eighths. Whose sewing machine's got a one point six centimetre? Well nobody has. It's either you go one and a half centimetres yeah. or you go five eighths but whatever you do be consistent don't okay. fit between the two what we're going to do though is you know when we get to the corner yes here instead of just stopping with a needle down and pivoting i'm going to sew a stitch diagonally across that corner right and what that's going to do is allow for a nicer point and turn so if you somebody at home that struggles with oh, okay. getting a nice point on your collar. Yeah, I see what you mean. So rather than going like that, you go like that, diagonal them down. Yeah, do one at a 45 degree. Let's try it. Yeah, show, show us what it looks like and make more sense. Yeah. It's only the one stitch you do it for, and it sounds like really... But it's these kind of attentions to detail. Oh, do you know what, actually? I need to take this off. I've missed that step. I've missed that step. <laughs> We're getting too excited about quilting. <laughs> <laughs> it's just reversing. Pretend we haven't seen that. Do you that know bit. what? Actually, I can do it because I've not started from the very end. Subconsciously, I knew why. Right, I need the uh, iron. You knew what I need. Right, this needs to be pressed over. So, what's the which edge is? Is that the inside edge? Yes. Um, where's me? Um, I'm losing the plot now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking uh, for? My destructions, because I'm sure it's five eighths of an inch, but I just need to double check. I think I've got the page turned over in it. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Lovely. Interface colour. Uh, a neck edge under, towards wrong side of fabric, five eighths of an inch. Yeah. Oh, there so we only go. one edge gets turned under? Yes, just the one. Just the one edge, and it's the interface piece. Sorry, I completely missed out that step. I knew I was... It's funny, as soon as I got it under the machine, I was like, no, something's missing here. Now, I'm eyeballing this. Don't eyeball it at home. You do it properly. Okay. Well, so I've got pretty good at being able to see an inch and see a centimetre and whatnot. Do you know what I mean? But that's just through doing it every day. Right, that's pressed up now. And um, let's pop that there. I know that does the thingy, but yeah. because I'm not left-handed... I feel like I have to put it down. Well, I I put it down because I wouldn't I wouldn't put it on this surface. Yeah. Because it's still hot. I would only put it down on an ironing board because it's still warm and it will make the table hot. Now, what you could do as well, if you're a beginner, is mark your five apes um, at the corner. Have I got a pen? I could show you how to do that. I don't know where my um, mark. Oh, there it is. And I need my point turner as well. So what you could do 
mm. and a tape measure adam there we go i've got it all in my kit down here i usually have my tape measure around my neck right so you could do um let's say your five eighths of an inch from here so there's my five eighths of an inch if my pen's gonna work and then from here your five eighths of an inch i've actually done it bob on there so i know now that that cross is my turning point so i can do me angled stitch oh, there. Oh, okay. So um, that makes it, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because otherwise you're never really sure where you need to turn. No, turn that's go, it. Oh, not enough, too much. Right, so I'm literally just going to do one stitch on that diagonal now, and then I'm going, so I'm pivoting twice rather than the once, and then back onto my five eighths. Okay. And so rather, yeah, so rather than right angle, you just go across it a bit. Yeah. Okay. Just put that through there but that's a really good tip to mark your seam allowance on a corner um especially when you're doing things like inseam pockets as well really oh, good yeah. to mark okay. it there you know if you just start yes where it's got to be just right yeah and i'm coming to there now and i'm just going to lift the foot pivot do you want one stitch at a 45 degree angle i'm actually just turning the flywheel there and then again pivot and then you're on your five eighths of an inch and then that stays pressed up like that and then we come down here wonderful okay and then what we are going to do then is trim and grade the seam allowance so we're going to cut off that corner completely and I know that's scary <laughs> you know if you, if you start, it's like what's he doing he's cutting into it yeah. but we need to reduce the bulk there um, because otherwise we won't get a nice point and then what I would do you can grade it down but five eighths of an inch on a collar this is where really we should have it should be smaller if it yeah, was only okay. three eighths of an inch mm. we could just grade it down um, but I'm just going to trim it right back. So you're not going to grade? No, I'm just, just trimming trim. both. Um, and how wide are you trimming it to? About three eighths of an inch, oh, is okay. it? No, it's probably no, it's less than three eighths. It's probably about. I'll measure it in a minute. I'd say that's about a quarter of an inch. Yeah. To an eighth. Yeah, it's probably even just an eighth of an inch. It is. Right, okay. It's just, yeah, it's just under a quarter of an inch. I guess a the scant. thing is, though, it's a lot 